The new year is already off to a heartbreaking start for New York City's finest. Five NYPD officers shot so far. We're going to get trigger pullers off the streets and guns out of their hands. Friday, 22-year-old rookie Jason Rivera was killed. His partner, Wilbert Mora, gravely wounded when they responded to a domestic disturbance call. Police say LaShawn McNeil opened fire using an illegal handgun with an extended magazine capable of holding 40 rounds. Hundreds gathered to honor Rivera on Sunday. But it isn't just in New York. In Houston, a deputy was shot and killed during a traffic stop. And in D.C., police were responding to a man acting suspiciously when he started shooting, injuring one officer. Have you ever seen violence against police officers at this level in your career? I have not. I've worked 36 years in law enforcement, and I can tell you that this is the worst I've ever seen it. Last year, over 300 police officers were shot nationwide, 63 killed. We see all of this rhetoric, all of these attacks, these dehumanizing of law enforcement is really eroding the respect for, for our profession. The violence against police comes as major American cities struggle with violent crime. Homicides nationwide surged nearly 30% in 2020. And while some cities saw homicides drop back down last year, at least 15 cities broke their all-time records in 2021, including Milwaukee, Austin, Tucson, and Philadelphia, which had its highest murder total in over 30 years. In New York, Mayor Eric Adams was elected on a promise to fight crime. We will not surrender our city to the violent few. Now battling a threat against the crime fighters he's relying on. Officer Rivera's funeral will be held here at St. Patrick's Cathedral on Friday. His partner, Officer Mora, is in an ICU tonight fighting for his 